video. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're going to be talking about the I-2. You got something to say about it? Um, it is made by Diablo Sports. That it is. And it does things I don't know what it does because I'm not a car genius. Well, I've got a list of things that it does right here. What does it do? Well, you want to read them off? Okay. And I'll explain to you? All right. It's got multi-licensing. That works hard. Do you know what that does? Uh gives you a class B CDL for driving your car. <laughs> <laughs> Multi-licensing, basically, if you have some more cars that you want to use the I2 on, you basically buy the license for that car and you can tune them with the same I2 that you tuned your other car with. Cool. Yeah. Does that mean you can use like multiple licenses on your I2 with the same car? We'll just stick to what I said the first time. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's got a custom tuning download. Yeah, so if you have, you know, a Diablo Sport uh, dealer or somebody that deals with Diablo Sport parts and can build a tune for you, they can send it to you via email. You can upload it to your i2 and you can download that custom tune to your car. All right. And then it's got boogie. <laughs> Booster. MPG. <laughs> MPG. <laughs> booster. <laughs> MPG. MPG booster. Miles per gallon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what does that do? Well, they claim that this thing will boost your miles per gallon, but I guess it does a little bit. I've noticed about a half a mile per gallon, not the three that they say it does, but. It gives you a decent mile per gallon booster. Main thing we're looking for when you buy a part like this though is your power. I'm sure the three gallon per a mile estimate is based on someone who's not like pedal to the floorboard all around town. Like someone who's driving sensibly. I was pedaled to the floorboard before I got the I do. Oh, okay. So we're estimating it was pedal to the floorboard all the way around. Okay. It unlocks extra hiding horsepower. Yeah, so that, you know, the little horse you got hiding there in your engine, it uh, finds it. it. Yeah, it finds it for you. So, you've got a six cylinder engine, so then you have a, a seven horsepower engine. Is that how that works? <laughs> Once you unlock that extra horse. No, you got eight. So you're unlocking two extra horses. Well, it depends on the tune you download. You can, I mean, with, with the charger, you can unlock 15 plus horsepower with the 91 octane tune. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. Okay. 91, 93, my bad. 93? 93 octane tune. Cool. Uh, it says it's got easy tune. Easy tune, yeah. That's the, that's the tune that I downloaded on my car currently. Sorry, guys. I got to show you that video later. But, yeah, the easy tune. Basically, it can't get more simple than that. It's exactly that, easy tune. You plug it in, you push easy tune, you go through the steps, and you pick your tune, whether you want 87, 91, 93. That's your easy tune, and it will ask you a few questions, and I'll show you in the next video. And, uh, yeah. So basically, plug it in and mash next. Pretty much. you got to turn your engine on and off a few times. Oh, that's easy enough. It, it, it's simple. It'll tell you what to do okay. in there. And then it's got the advanced tune options. I mean, you got to turn the engine off four or five times and then match next. No well, advanced tunes. That that's just covered the rest of that stuff. Oh, okay, so like tire and wheel size, gear size, a rev limiter. Yeah, like like on, on my car, it's the limiter set at like 6,500 or 6,600 something like that, and I can unlock it all the way up to seven seven thousand. Cool. Uh, timing? Timing, yeah. It's like your valve last timing, you can adjust it. You can adjust the timing, yeah. Belt <laughs> timing. <laughs> we'll turn your car into a time machine once you get over like 80 miles an hour. Well, yeah, basically it, it adjusts the times, you know, in your, your quarter mile timing. Fueling. It helps with your 
<laughs> okay, so adjust your quarter mile timing. And then <laughs> fueling. <laughs> I'm sure it helps out with your core. Oh, is it job adjust the cost of your fueling? <laughs> yeah, you can select your own gas prices. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. Not really. Uh an MDS with that main data systems. MDS. I don't know. I told you I didn't know before we started this video. <laughs> Uh, as well as it will remove your speed limiter. What's that do? My phone's dead. Can't look it up. I'll just have to figure it out in there. <sighs> okay. Unless we figure it out a lot. Someone time. will tell in the comments what MDS is, and I'll be like, listen here, you stupid redneck yokels. MDS <laughs> is your material data sheets. And I'll be like, Thank you, sir. No, it's managing your data system. Okay, manage this your data system. That sounds right. That sounds we'll go right. with that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much all the notes we have. No, it's not. Get there. What? You got more notes? Yeah, I got more notes. When, when, when the speed limit or anything? Online, online updates. updates. Oh, you can do online updates. Yeah, you can do online updates. So basically, you want to check for updates all the time because who knows, there could be a better tune out for your vehicle. So you just up, plug in your i2 and you update it. So you buy the tunes for your vehicle, right? You buy your licensing for your vehicle. Oh, so anytime they come out with new tunes, you, you can plug it in and update it. You don't have to buy updates. No, it's, just, it's included with your licensing. You have a license for that vehicle. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, data logger. Yep. It has a built-in data logger. Cool. Now keep track of your data, I assume? Yeah. So you don't have to sit there with a logbook while you're running quarter miles and be like, yeah, yeah, my bad election, but anything that's good, my gear was at. It's what my MDS was. Or you put a big question mark by your MDS. Well, it'll log it for you and you can just pull it up later. Well, he said, okay, let's get into the box. I've already been into it a couple times. Yeah. Got a little wear in it. A little wear and tear? Yeah. You've already installed this, haven't you? I couldn't wait. Couldn't wait? No. I made a video about it, though. You just haven't got edited yet. No, it's not edited yet. This one ain't edited yet, either. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to this. You need to, get, you need to step up your editing game. I want these videos edited before we're done with them. I bet you haven't even edited any B-roll in this yet. We're never going to make it on YouTube. <laughs> Are we about ready to crack into this box? Well, crack into it. Okay. I've already been, so I'm not as anxious as you. <laughs> All right, we got a big sticker here. It says attention. I don't know French. This is like it's got a little round thing in there with a bullseye and a little devil tip. It says Diablo Sports I2. And it's got a little screen on it. Screen protector there, keep it from getting scratched up in the shipping. That's pretty fancy. It's all right. Looks all right. like a mini iPhone or something. We got all this stuff, and it covers what we just talked about for the most part. Yeah, that's all your instructions. And then we got the poster. The poster is hanging in your garage. Come on, get a close up of this. And then we got cords. <laughs> this right here this is what you plug in to your vehicle and into your i2 this goes into your computer port in your car right up under your dash if you got one 
and this goes into your eye too. Right like that. When you hear the click, you're good. This plugs into your OBD2? Yeah. You can also uh, check. Oh, it says on the side. Hey, one thing we didn't mention, you can check your codes on your car with this as well. So you ain't got to go to AutoZone or Riley's and stuff like that. When you got a service engine light on or, you know, uh, check engine light, you know, stuff like that. Well, you can check only, it out in here. Not only does it give you the codes, it will tell you what the code means. Yeah. It gives you a little readout and it says you need to like, tighten down your gas cap, idiot. That's the ID10T code. <laughs> Doesn't figure out what that ID10T code is. <laughs> 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 Alright, so we're going to And then this cord, this is the Universal Serial Bus version 2 cord. It's got the, 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 what is that? Is that the mini or the micro? That's, That's the mini USB. Mini USB. Plugs in there. Dude, I bet I, I could charge my PlayStation controllers with that because mine went out for my PlayStation. Well, I've got like four of these at home. Well, give me one. You didn't tell me it was that. I thought you just had janky PlayStation controllers. I just controllers. told you to short it out. So does this mean I got to get you a new PlayStation controller for your birthday? I didn't get me a new PlayStation controller for my birthday. Wait, you've been telling me I need to get a PS4. Give me a PS4. Maybe. I don't know. See how broke I am when birthday rolls around. Your birthday's after mine. I'm going to spend all my money on my birthday. So basically, this plugs into your thing. Thing. I do. I do. <laughs> yeah. This plugs into the I2. This plugs into your computer. And that's how you load the codes onto your I2 to take and load onto your car. One of these days, we're going to make millions by like just putting a USB device on your OBD computer on your car. And you can just use an off-the-shelf thumb drive. And this extra port right here. What's that do? That's for your data logging. Data logging. Data logging. So you log your data. So you can log your data from this, and you can log your data from what's that other part? The boost gauge. Yeah. Let's spend more time sitting there looking over data sheets and you do race. Where were we at? Oh, yeah. So could you plug this? Are you video? Okay. So you can plug this into your car. Plug, plug, computer. You can sit out there under your carport with like your laptop. Like, I'm hacking it. I'm hacking it. More horsepower. Cool. I like cherries. So you're like a car hacker. I like chocolate. Oh. I don't know. Oh yeah, data logger, that's where we work. Yeah. Did you tell them about the sticker yet? Mm-mm. Tell them about the sticker. Alright. So we got a sticker. You gonna stick this on your car? No. What are you gonna do with it? You want it? Yeah. You gonna put it on your CRV? No. <laughs> put it on my refrigerator. You know, it's just like a, every time you get a computer part, like a processor, or motherboard, graphics card, they give you a little sticker to stick on the side of your case. Nobody ever uses those. Like you're going to have this expensive computer you built with all these BA parts, and you're just going to have a bunch of stickers on the side of it, like you're 12 years old. You like cherries? No. But anyway, so you've already installed these in your car. Yep. How much more power do you get? I don't know. I ain't got a dyno in my backyard. I wish. That'd be cool. Then we could ride it up to the store and get free beer. <laughs> dyno. That'd happy mess. Do you have any clue what a dyno is? Uh or a brontosaurus or a triceratops or what are those velociraptors yeah they're like eagles now they're vultures they're vultures no they're rings i'll give you a dino know, lesson after generation. this video we'll go watch another youtube video but we gotta watch jurassic park <laughs> dude you didn't tell me we should go watch jurassic park best saturday ever
We'll go darn your car right now. <laughs> Hey guys, that about sums it up for this video. As always, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Like this video and share it with your friends. Always, don't forget. Um, what are we not forgetting here? Diablo Sports. <laughs> 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 Don't forget, we got fan funding on our channel. You can go down, click somewhere, somewhere. On, you know where it's at? There's a fan funding link here somewhere, and you can click on it, and you can fund us with your monies. You can pledge, I think the minimum pledge or donation or whatever it is, is like a buck. Go ahead and do that for us. We'd really appreciate it, and don't forget to catch us next time on Double Charge. Yeah, because it takes a lot of big bags of chips and cake to keep up with running a channel like this.